Hey, 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 Scrappy people. It's Tracy Reed here today with another catch up uh, December daily layout in my 2016 December daily. And today I am working on two different um, subjects. One spread divided by this big tag divider. The left hand side is our elf on the shelf antics, a few of them. And the other side is the beginning of a series of spreads about my tradition of taking my boys on a shopping trip every year to shop for their brothers and their father for Christmas. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is um, deciding where these pictures are going to go. I initially had all four pictures on that left hand side in all four of those three by four slots, but I wanted to break them up so that they weren't all together. So I'm going to put the one picture that's not the elf, which is Finn opening up the elf box, on to the tag itself. And then I'm going to put the elf photos on each three by four instead. So that opens up that bottom left three by four slot to add some journaling to. So I got these planner papers um, after I had already done my foundations for this album and I decided that I didn't love that striped paper in this context but there was a really gorgeous floral paper um, that I decided I wanted to use on the tag instead so I am going to back that photo of Finn with one of the other planner papers and then I'm just going to adhere this paper directly over the tag and I'll just trim it down instead of trying to cut another tag out. It's just easier this way. Plus I can still use the other side of that tag and the other side is a poinsettia paper which I find to work just fine with the other side of the spread so we're not sacrificing that side of the paper. And I'm going to trim down to fit the tag. Of course I messed it up the first time and then I really messed it up the second time but that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Just going to use my scissors and trim off the edges here instead of trying to use the paper trimmer. And voila! Now I have a new tag front to work with. And I've moved that photo of Finn over so that I can journal. So I'm going to use this quote of the day pad for my journaling spot, but I'm going to cut off the quote of the day part and just use the journaling lines. I initially didn't cut off the um, numbers on the side, but I do go back and cut those off because they don't fit on the card very well. So it just becomes this nice little journaling block right in the middle of that card. Straighten these out, adhere down this photo, kind of working on both sides at the same time, though I am going to concentrate on the front side of the tag for now instead of the back side. There we go. So now I'm ready to start adding die cuts and stickers to the spread. And I pull them all out. And I add a journaling tag on each one of these Elf on the Shelf photos to describe what the Elf is doing. And I'm going to use this quote of the day. This paper pad, or this notepad, is kind of a um, newsprinty feeling thing, so I'm just going to use it as a sort of layer because you know I can't waste my scraps so I'm going to layer some of this newsprint behind this photo just to give it a little bit more than just sitting on top of that really pretty floral paper and I'm gonna put this die cut here to bridge the gap between the two edges of the newsprint so I have this floating deer <laughs> which I'm fine with he's kind of cute so now I'm just adhering the tab from 
the planner kit to the top of that photo. I just like having random tabs, a little bit extra hanging out from the edges of each of the spreads sometimes. I don't really use them for any purpose other than I just like them. <laughs> so now I'm adding some stickers all over the spread. Kind of going through the planner stickers and deciding what I want where. When incorporating some stickers that don't necessarily, well, they weren't really necessarily planned for scrapbooking, sometimes you got to get super creative. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. So it takes me a little bit to just kind of like look through them and assess them and decide what goes where. I'm going to add one to the top there. And then I think I'm going to add one to here. Mistletoe. <laughs> I realize that that's mistletoe, but I just kind of like the way it looked, even though it doesn't really make sense with the picture of our elf taking an elfie. So here's where I decide to get really fancy. And I'm while I'm using my liquid glue, I kind of get the idea to adhere down a bunch of stars in like sort of a spray across multiple cards, kind of like an elven magic sort of a feel. So I'm just kind of processing that through my brain right now. And letting it simmer but it's gonna be really cool bah humbug cuz gosh doesn't everyone hate the stupid elf and by the time you get halfway through the Christmas season you're just done moving <laughs> the elf I know that uh, my kids will look through this two of three of them realize that the elf is not real but by the time the old one, the littlest one is old enough to read, I'm pretty sure he'll know that the elf isn't real too. So <laughs> I'm not too concerned about adding that bah humbug in there. I was having all kinds of trouble getting everything to stick on this spread for some reason. So I'm just kind of working with the glue here. Don't worry, it will get less boring here in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to start adding those stars. Here we go. So I just add random dots and I kind of space them out a little bit more as I work my way across the spread. And now I'm just going to start adhering down all of these stars. And you can see they're going to be more clustered in the bottom corner of that. And then they're going to start getting a little bit more spaced out as they work across this, the page. Well, I have to go back and fix that one. It didn't work out so well, <laughs> but it will work in just a second. So I really like how that kind of adds a whole different feel to this spread and like makes it so that um, it was cohesive to begin with, but it really gives it just something to move your eye all the way across the page and really combine all of these elements together which I really like how that turned out plus come on man it's like shiny elven magic at least that's where my brain was going <laughs> so now I'm going to add my journaling to all of the little journal strips and all of the um, all of the cards so I'm going to spare you from having to watch too much of that probably the most writing I've done in this whole album. <laughs> so now I'm going to work on the back side of the tag because I'm pretty much done with everything else. I initially debate whether or not I want to cover that back side up, but I decide that I like the way that it looks. I was going to add some journaling, but I'd already added so much journaling I didn't have anything else to say. Then I thought about maybe adding a, a title, but I decided to add some of the other chipboard to the other um, cards instead when I looked at the chipboard because I'm seriously running out of letters there. 
add another ampersand because you know I love my ampersands. Now I'm trying to decide if I can make any words and I decide I can't. So instead I'm going to add this bow. I love this red leather bow and at the top of this tag is a perfect place to put it. So I'm just going to add some serious glue here and I'm going to cover up that initial hole that I had in that tag with the bow. And then I decide, what do I want on here? Because I don't want any more writing and I don't have any more photos. So I just add, decide to add this die cut um, silhouette cut file from the free cut files from Coco Daisy. And I'm going to ink up the edges with some of the green ink from the November, or no, so the October collection, Coco Daisy collection just to um, ink up some of the edges so that you can see it a little bit more. And then I'm going to add a line of the little tiny red gems for the string for the ornament, which I think is really cute and adds just the perfect touch to that. And this spread is just about done once I straighten out these gems. <laughs> So I'm going to show you the close-ups right now. And if you enjoyed this spread, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll have all kinds of December daily inspiration over the next month. Plus I work on Project Life and 12 by 12 layouts all the time. All right. Thank you.